Hey, what's up? This is a video in response to a question that I got to use Photoshop to create all permutations of three possible layer sets. In this case, it's some eyes, a nose, and a mouth on a face background, but you could essentially insert any content that you need. So I downloaded some examples from Noun Project, and then I created this cool little script that automatically clicks and downloads each one, so I just wanted to show it. It'll click and then go to the next tab on Google Chrome, which I thought was pretty cool. And then once I had all of the eyes, mouths, and noses, I went ahead and inserted them into a Photoshop document with folders separating each. And then these are the original layer names. And then I found this script um, by Mechanicius. So in order to run the script, basically for each set, you put an underscore after the layer name and then a period after the art layer. So it's going to do the permutations for what's in these folders. And if you have a background like this, it'll just leave that alone and leave it as a constant. And I went ahead and wrote my own Apple script to batch rename the layers, um, but there are some plugins out there. I just couldn't find one in time for this video. So I just did it manually. And then in order to get all of the SVGs that I downloaded kind of the same size, I have these scripts called resize 300, where if you just open it up and you change the value on line number eight, it's going to change the size of that layer rather than having to do it manually. So I'll go ahead and do a couple as an example. You can see that these three noses got bigger. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo that back to the smaller size. I'll include this script if you want. You probably could write a Photoshop action for it, but the main part of this video is the following. So once I have it set up and all of my layers inside of the folders with the proper suffixes, I'm gonna run the Photoshop Composition Composer script. And then it's gonna say how many combinations there are and it's going to by default export a PNG and PSDs. You'll have to click the option, which I'll show you. So the amount of files that should end up in the folder should be this number times two, and I think that's 756, 768, something like that. Okay, so I'm gonna click yes, and then I'm gonna create a folder to export the assets into, and then I'll do yes for include corresponding documents. The first time that I did this, this little window here, would you like to include, it kind of stuck there, but the correct number of files ended up in the folder. So that's why I mentioned to just keep an eye on how many there should be, and then you can close Photoshop. So this is the script running, and it's pretty cool because it's maintaining the original layer name. So if you did want to use search to narrow the results to a particular asset that you are including in the permutations, you can do that. Otherwise, it's just going to show everything inside of the finder. I'm going to let it run and uh, loop back whenever it's finished. And we're back. So it finished and it has 768 items in the folder that we chose to export the items into. I'm opening it up in Bridge and then you can see all of the combinations. So the original question included smart objects. So these obviously could be smart objects. And then if you wanted to have this set in a separate folder and then create another script to randomly import one of the files, that's also possible. But you can go ahead and narrow down which ones are the best or and then work from then with there. So um, yeah, I hope this helps. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time. Later. Oh, happy new year, happy new year. <laughs>